emojis. We all use them to talk and chat, but do we really need an emoji movie? Well, let's find out. I'm gonna react to the trailer and then review it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. <gasps> Look who just sent me a text. Addie McCallum? Oh, there's actually people. What I say? Just play it cool. <laughs> Welcome to the world okay, this reminds me of Rick and Ralph where a everyone lot. is expected to act one way their whole life. Aw, snap! Ow. My name is Gene, and I'm supposed to be a meh. You know, like, meh, who cares? Oh, have My problem is, world. I have more than one emotion. Check this out. Huh? Huh? Son, please tell me you weren't laughing just now. What if you get sent out on the phone making the wrong face? Dad, I'll make the right face. And then so I will finally weird. fit in. Can't believe this is a thing. Sweetie, you're so handsome when you make that face. Yeah. I think he's ready, Mel. Nah. That's our user. Oh, that's Alice. cool how they see their we perspective. That's kind of like regular. We are too. go for men. Who? Oh, me? Oh, oh. What are you doing? He's making the wrong face. Yeah. Huh? What the heck? <gasps> the Welcome face. to the loser lounge, where the emojis who never <gasps> get used Corbin. hang out. What's up, high five? Most of these emojis I've never have seen. Some sort of purpose here. I'm gonna help you. We need to get off the phone and find the source code. Then I can fit what in. Who is she? Whoa, my Felicia. <laughs> First, we have to get through this. Oh. What's Alex's girlfriend's name again? It was Tina. Access denied. Karen. Sarah. Oh. I want to say Lupita, but that doesn't feel right now. I'm saying it out loud. I think you're pretty cool just the way you are. Maybe I'm meant to have more than just one emotion. Where am I? Candy crush. <laughs> Candy crush. Oh my god, that's that's smart. Oh, I'm never eating another piece of candy ever again. High five, don't do it. Don't you do it. It's already been in there once. Ew. <sighs> okay, son, what do we do after we go potty? <gasps> Should we wash our hands? <laughs> <laughs> We're, We're number two. two. We're number two. Um, well then, uh, let's put this away and let's talk about what I just saw. <laughs> now, that was really something. I'm gonna say, at first when I heard about this emoji movie, I was like, what is the plot gonna be like? And then we had that teaser trailer that was so bad. And I was like, what is this? Um, it just looked like there's a story and it really, really, really reminds me of Wreck-It Ralph. And I really like Wreck-It Ralph. I thought it was super awesome. And I think it was really cool when they went to the Candy Crush because you can see like the perspective of the video game for them and then you can, I think it's cool how they can see the humans stepping in. I didn't imagine they were going to be humans, like I thought they were just going to be hands or like, yeah, but I didn't imagine there would be like actual human conversations going on. So that was something interesting to look at. Now, my problem is, like, the majority of the emojis, I do not recognize. Like, I didn't see, I think one of the girls was like this one, but I wasn't sure. I don't know, maybe it's because Sony doesn't have the rights to use the emojis or something like that. But, I mean, they do have the name, so why didn't they use actual emojis? Like, I did recognize the meh face, I didn't recognize so the poop emoji, of course. But the majority, I was like, never seen that before. I've never seen that. Oh yeah, the high five, I guess I've seen it. I wonder why it has the bandage. I wonder what, what's the story behind it. I was so surprised to see James Corden. I mean, I think it's, he's awesome. So I'm really happy he got a voice actor role. I think he's going to do amazing. So first things first, the Angry Birds movie. Was that even necessary? Just because something is popular as a video game doesn't mean it has to be a movie. It's just so sad to see that there's so many amazing stories to be told and people, you know, companies spend so much money on to make a movie of video games or something like that, you know? Like, okay, Angry, movie, Angry Birds movie. It was funny because, like, the height of the game was over by the time the movie came. So it was, like, really awkward. I didn't watch that one. Was that even good? I mean, I, I didn't want to watch because it looked really like, mm, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, and so... First, 
the Angry Birds movie and now emojis. Because at least the Angry Birds movie had like actual birds. It was, I guess, something more used to it, more cartoony. But these are literally like emojis. I don't know how to feel about that. It's just kind of weird. And the girl who's with him, like the one who accompanies him on this, I guess, adventure or whatever, she is not an emoji I've ever seen, ever. Who is she? Is she like supposed to be like the anti-emoji or something? Like kind of like what Vanellope was to the Wreck-It Ralph world? I don't know how I feel about that. I just, I feel I would, like when I see the poop emoji, it's like, oh, that's cool, you know, like something I see and something that, you know, um, I've seen before. But the other ones, I was not invested into what happened to them because I've never seen those emojis before. Um, so I was kind of disappointed in that. I think it was also it was. I think it's a really creative movie. Like the, the the people who came up with this have a lot of an imagination for sure. Because to put these characters, you know, in the boxes, it's like oh, you're gonna be sent now. And you know, there's a lot of creativity, and I do admire that a lot. I'm talking so much with my hands. I do admire a lot of the creativity and the imagination that has come with it and I'm definitely gonna watch it. I'm really curious of what they're gonna do with it. I'm kind of worried for uh, Wreck-It Ralph 2 because Wreck-It Ralph 2 takes place in the apps world, right? So um, I hope it just, you know, after I see Wreck-It Ralph 2 it's like, oh, they, they stole things from an emoji movie or something like that, you know? Like I, I wouldn't want that. When I saw the Candy Crush, it's like, no, that's for Rick and Ralph too. <laughs> but at the same time, I do like it in this movie. To be honest, I, it was better than what I expected. I expected so much about, such a bad um, trailer. And I'm not going to say it's going to be anywhere close to How to Train Your Dragon or Shrek, a great movie, Toy Story 3, or any of those amazing films. But I think... For kids, it might be enjoyable. For adults, maybe we can watch it once and be like, okay, that was smart. But it, it will definitely, from what I... My prediction is I would definitely not love this film. I think it would be decent, okay-ish. Um, because something about the visuals are also like too cartoony. I mean, of course it makes sense because the emojis are super cartoony 2D. It's just it's weird to see them 3D-ish and then just that they have arms and legs. That's kind of weird also. But I'm, I'm really curious about this film, to be honest. Like, I, I think the trailer did a good job of me wanting to see more of this world. I think they had some cool uh, things with, with colors. So do I give this trailer an awkward face emoji? Or they were like, oh, love it. I think I should use this for more of my reviews. This is a good system. So honestly, for this trailer, I'm gonna go with a combination. It definitely did surprise me more. And I did appreciate many of the things. But at the same time, like, why do we have an emoji movie? Why is this a thing? So this was it for the video. My name is Sol, I'm Hispanic, and I'm a geek, and I'll see y'all very soon. My my I don't know what else to say about this.